Hina back again quite early. That's because out of nowhere, Mizusoba, the dev, was like, oh, by the way, here's Keiki and Iku. So two new characters just dropped like that. Insane. And like, Racing and Momiji, they took a little bit more time. Momiji came out first, then Racing came out not too long ago. Like maybe a week or two at best. And then now he just dropped, just dropped two characters just like that. It's like, oh, okay, all right. So let's get it. Anything else new in this update? I don't think there's anything else new. But let's just get right into it. Oh, wait, wait. Cakey. Did you fix this? He didn't fix the description for this yet. Create, uh, generate the selected object, the specified point, wall generates a wall that will disappear at the end of the turn, bounce generates a wall that bounces anything it touches and will disappear, box creates a box that resembles a projectile. Operation. The Haniwa is ejected, and when it hits a small or medium object other than Hinachan, it sets the Haniwa on it. The object with the Haniwa set can be manipulated on command. Alright, so this is Keiki. And this is also cakey. And this is another cakey. And this is another cakey. And this is Hina. <laughs> Thunderlord. The touch position is reserved, and lightning strikes you at the next subsequent active time of you. Small and medium sized objects hit by lightning are blown away and electrified. If charged objects hit Hina Chan, will be blown away. Lighten the small or medium sized objects that are touched. If the target is Hinachan, all the S's are restored to normal. Alright, here is Iku. This is also Iku. That's Renko. That's Hina. And that's Iku again. But you know me. You know me. Oh, there's a new item too? Shit. I gotta check that then. Let's ball! Together we ride! That Iku shop skin? What you talking about? What you talking about? Oh, you, wait, you mean... You mean Piku? That's what I'm deciding to call her. And that's... That's a bullshit. Nobody needs to know. Hold on, I gotta go back to my customization screen. Camera. A frame appears on the screen when the shot is taken. Fixed objects from the frame area become ghost walls. Projectiles can penetrate. This effect will not activate on the first turn. The soul gauge is restored when Hina's channel is placed in the frame. Okay, so if I understand that... You can't do it on the first turn. But when you use that item, it basically makes anything in its uh, in its path, like, you can pass through it. I'll have to try it out. But first, a little Hina Worm action. Oh, I blew it. This time I got it. Yeah. Okay. I want to test it. Okay, so if I take a picture, like here, now if I throw a ball, it'll go through it. That's not what happened at all. That, that's that's not what happened at all. <laughs> wow, that's unlucky. All right. Maybe I didn't understand it. Objects within the frames area become ghost walls. Projectiles can penetrate. Does not affect. It's not activate on the first turn. When it says first turn, you mean the first time you take the picture? Is that what it is? 
The soul gauge is restored when Hina is placed in the frame. It's only walls. It says objects! Alright, I'll try it again. Fine, I'll try it again. Thank you for, for the resub. I like the copter though. The copter is goofy. Another cheer bow. Slidey. Little slippy, little oh wow 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 wow. That is my rank. No, my rank. Get that again. I'm I'm putting my copter back on, man. Give me my copter. I'll see somebody else use the camera if it's so good. Right here. I... I was aiming at the wrong character! <laughs> well... Yeah, I had a feeling that was going to happen. Well, what's your plan? Oh, that ought to be fun. Okay. Wow. For, for a second there, that looked like that wasn't gonna work. And then it worked. Hit the light. Hit the light. Hit the light. Ruma. Nice. Right here. I really thought it would work. Now it's gonna work. Ah. Give me them juicy points. I need my loot boxes. Start her up. So chat, last night, I drew Ruma's head. Some of you already know that though. I think my mic stand's cracked. It was fun. Damn it. It was fun to do. I got back into it and uh, did the, 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 you know, the basic stuff, and then Ferdy taught me a bunch of thingies that I can do to, uh, like, make the head look, uh, nicer. Things like adding the cheek lines for the blush, you know, all kinds of, like, details, uh, rounding the eyes. All kinds of neat little nifty things that are, like, really subtle and hard to really, like, properly see. That counts as moving her. Yeah, see, that counts as moving her. There we go. 
There's also chat. You'd be surprised how many lo like like how many things when you're doing coloring and whatnot is like just scribbling. <laughs> She looks a little dead inside, but... Wow, that doesn't check every goddamn box. So chat, you know, uh, you know those like white highlights and hair that you see a lot? Like you can see them in this right here as well. Like, like in the Komachi's hair. That's just like scribbles. Like scribble smudges. It looks like something that like has more detail to it. But it actually is just like scribbles. It's honestly impressive how much, how much detail is just like whatever's, and then it looks to make the whole image look great. I can't hit her anymore. I'm doing that. Oh, brother. Oh, brother, what have we done? <laughs> well, that's the end of that. Beep beep! Failure. Oh. Radiance is also a fun way to do shading that's extremely simple. And then for the background, I just kind of like, uh... For the background, I just kind of like took, found a, a style, like a, a brush I liked, and just kind of scribbled over the back of it. And I was like, oh, neat. Oh, shit! And then I wrote, I wrote her, her signature phrase. That was actually harder to do than I thought it would be. Especially the character for, uh, for no. That's like a sideways six. That was a lot harder than I thought it would be. But yeah, I had fun with that. I'm not sure what we're doing tonight. There she goes. I'm not sure what we're doing tonight, but I do want to at some point get, uh, torso practice, so I can do torsos. I found a style of eyeball I really like as well. Like, simple eyeball. You shade it, you color in the pupil, and you make them look dead inside. Then you apply the brighter color to the bottom of the eye, but instead of applying it to the entire bottom half of the eye, you only apply it to a grand majority of it. And then you make the pupil in the center. You make the pupil in the center by taking the dark color and basically drawing a circle in the middle. And when you do that, when it's not like a half and half, whoa, it makes it look kind of like a crescent moon. I really like that detail. Oh, that's not good. Slappa. But I hit her though. Oh, you can rip it off. You don't win in there, dog. What? Oh wow. Okay. I didn't think she'd be able to slide under that. To be honest with you. My faces are getting better as well. They're kind of like big. But like I, I, I'm using a special tool called the liquify tool. Which lets you cheat, like a cheater. It's also the first time I did detail on the hair as well. Instead of the little one bang, I did the, uh, I did basically every bang had a, a split in it somewhere to give it more detail. And that's kind of hard to do. It's like a rule that you have to follow for the split size to make it look like good. I am playing just fantastic right now. The weird thing about torsos is, though, is like, I'm not really even sure how to practice torsos. 
without also practicing the whole ass head. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Like, you gotta do the head and then connect the torso, otherwise installing like a, a severed torso is probably gonna feel weird as shit. Wow, that almost didn't win. That would have been tragic. Oh, if that didn't work there, that, uh, then I probably would have like gotten the most fraudulent win of my entire career. I did nothing that round. I played terrible. Every shot was garbage. He just can't win. He can't do it. See, torsos are hard because you have to get the torso and then also like the pelvis is part of the torso. So you gotta make sure your torso is not too long or it looks weird, but it's also not too short because then it still looks weird. But like any, any appendage that you get wrong is gonna look weird no matter what. There's no winning. There's no fucking winning. I hate it. I wanna win, damn it. Draw fingers. No, I can't do it. I can't do it! Don't ask me to draw fingers! Well, that was a series of fortunate events right there, wasn't it? Did that whole piece in one day, too. I think that was the most impressive part about it. The last ones have taken multiple sessions. But that one was done in one day. Granted, it was only a head. But still. That's a good feeling. Got her. Nice. Bum ba dum bum bum. Flip. Oh, yes. Didn't stick the landing, though. Alright, Hina. I wish for you to be free. Woo! Well, I tried. Alright, I'll make her bounce. That was an interesting decision. Not believe that did that. In what universe does a shot like that actually work? Well, apparently our universe, because it worked. But what? My Hina had so much force that it pushed that entire oil ba oil basin over. That's that's honestly incredible. Get that scarecrow out of here. Ah, the money, eh? The money! We're going that way, whether you like it or not. See, now she's snug as a boog. Now we flip her. And she does. Yes! Yes! Yeah! Oh, look at that! Constructed our own little Hina Hina transportation machine. Oh shit! It's cake. She's dressed under there, right? <laughs> I'm I'm sure it's fine. I'm um it's fine. This is a Christian stream. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's like a bottle rocket. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of jokers. Bunch of jokers. Ugh. Cowboy. Yeehaw. 
You know, I honestly wonder which character in this game is the least popular. Not even like based on usage in the game, but just like popularity poll wise. Not counting Fortune Teller or Mima though, because Fortune Teller and Mima are, are that's a gag character and that's a PC-98 character. I'm talking about the Windows era characters that from that appeared in games. Well, I just made a, I made a, okay. Don't worry about what I made. Oh, I made a mistake. Takane is the most, like, uh, not out of place, I suppose, but she's definitely the most, like, oh, okay, she's here, character, because like, she's the only one from 18 in the game, and she's just, like, the second stage boss, just kind of like, oh, okay, She's got cool abilities. She's a unique character. She's just kind of one of those picks. It's like, oh, okay, I see. Okay, that worked. Nice. Oh! 4,000 big ones. I wish to drown in my money. Well, the least popular characters are the ones who have abilities that are either too situational or virtually non-existent. Watch this. Dude, that could have been so cool. That could have been so cool. I'm back up. My rank is returned. Okay. Bring him in! I love when she bounces. Now there's a few characters whose abilities kind of just suck. I'm, I think I know that Suika's abilities have gotten better, but I'm pretty sure her abilities aren't that amazing. You don't see her very often. Rainbow's abilities have been uh, cut a few times. It's so close. Well, we're halfway there. Slippery bastard. All you gotta do is make the shot. I'm... I'm sorry that happened to you, but you probably could have just shot it and have been okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about Uso's abilities. Hers have potential to be funny, but hers are more situational. One of Cherno's abilities kind of just sucks. And her free shot doesn't seem like the most amazing thing in the world. Jun's coin shot is neat, but it doesn't it's not the best on every map. It's not multi-purpose like that. And her jewel is so unbelievably situational that it's just not good. Sanai is a weird one because I feel like her wind is good, but also not. And then that statue, I don't think it's good. And then suddenly it is. <laughs> wow. 
well. It just costs a lot, so you really get to use it. Well, if your opponent victory cries early, which they won't do unless you're in a game-winning spot anyway. Hmm. Oh, I lost 250 points to losing to your dumbass fortune teller. <laughs> Holy shit. What is rank? Bonk. I actually don't remember what Takane's skills are at all. And it's been a long time since I've seen the Tories. I know what they are though. She's got the flooding. Hmm. What? Oh, I looked away. What happened? Why'd she fall? I I looked away and and she she fell, but she was standing perfectly upright. What the fuck happened? How did I? Oh yeah, Yuma's ability. I don't really know what Yuma does either. Feels like most of the time she puts a hole down. And it's like, oh, okay, and then, like, sometimes she fires one of those weird Yuma things at, out of her, but it's like, oh. I don't really know what that is doing. Alice is a weird one, because there's no one really playing her. Except like, that one guy. I remember when Sage's, uh, screen flipping ability was only a visual nuisance. That was so much better. Well, I mean, it wasn't better. It was awful. But it was better because dealing with that thing is so annoying. Hina flew down the falls. Give me that wafer thin. Hina. Why are you trying to go back up the waterfall? Are you serious? Oh, look, he took a picture of the rock. Wow, this game is so bad. This game sucks! <laughs> Brother, neither of us should have lost that. <laughs> I shouldn't have lost, and then you shouldn't have lost, and then I shouldn't have lost again. I'm fucking believable. Cornball gameplay. That's what that was. Hina in a nutshell. That's just how she is sometimes. Sometimes the hole just isn't big enough, so she just flies over it. This town ain't big enough for two of us. What's our plan here, buddy? What are we doing? What are- what are we doing? What's our plan? There's no way you're gonna say that I didn't hit Hina. Well, actually, I think you win. Oh. Alright. Fuck. It didn't work the way it was supposed to. The collapse did not go in the right direction. And then I lose 250 points again, and I cannot maintain my rank. Ah, oh, blow her up.
All right, Hina. Wow. Yeah, all right. It's <laughs> just... I said she was the bomb. This is like the fifth time I fought this outfit. Oh boy. It wasn't heavy enough. I almost made a very foolish mistake. You better go. You better go. Oh, you better go. That's what I thought. Just be glad it's this outfit. Well, the other outfit would require the other player to be using it. And if the other player is using it, then there's probably something, you know, there's something about them. There's, there's, there's something about them. There's something about them. Well. He took a picture. But I can't see of what. Wow. I had a feeling that was going to happen, but I was not quite sure how to approach this. I have one idea, but I highly doubt it would have worked. Well, all right then. Oh, Hina made a pose when you took her picture. I didn't even notice. She did a little, uh, she did a little peace sign when you take a picture. Propella! You know what this music reminds me of, chat? The GameCube Pokemon RPGs. Especially, uh, specifically, a, uh, a Gate Town. Like, this instrument is definitely used in that theme. Alright, uh, this TV is stuck. This fucking TV, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No, you pushed it the wrong way. No, it's the last turn. This fucking TV, dude. Okay, I got it. I got the TV. That's all that mattered. You again. Good old pirate town, man. Good old pirate town. Boom, boom, doo, 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 It's so... Oh, wow, that worked. <laughs> Impressive. My points! My apes! 
That game was so wall. Like, Pokemon up to that point... Pokemon is just, like, you know, there's a lot of environments and whatnot. But that game was like, alright, you're at outskirts stand, which is like a broken... Uh, a broken down train. It's like, okay, cool. And then you go to Fennec City, and it's like, okay, that's kind of neat looking. And then you go to the construction site, and you're like, okay, whatever. And then you go to Pirate Town, and you're like, holy shit, this place is grungy. Goodbye, Hina. Pirate Town is extremely grungy. I don't think there's ever been an area in Pokemon quite like Pirate Town. The whole place is just built of, like, scraps and shit. And it's just a hoodlum hangout. And they got that really fucking nice OMBS building in, uh, in XD later on. To replace that, that other building. All furbished. Looks beautiful. And the rest of Pyrite Town didn't see a fucking cent of investment to fixing the town at all. They sealed off the cave and everything. You can hit that couch, but I, you know what's gonna happen. Oh, that was a much smarter way to go about it, actually. Yep. Just take my 350 participated points. But after Pyrite Town, you go up to this beautiful, lush nature place. And it's like, oh, beautiful. And all the other areas, you go back to Krusty Town, but you go to Krusty Town Underground. And then, like, Research Lab. And a very dangerous method of battling over like an active volcano within an active volcano even and just like what the fuck who designed that that's so dangerous yeah that game's grungy i guess that was just like the era at the time right although the only other example i can think of is paper mario with rogue port because rogue port was just like rogue port was also just like holy shit this is a mario game right I mean, it's not like fucking you're walking down the street and you watch a Goomba get ganked. That said, that said, you do, you do watch the, uh, the Piana Mafia, like, beat some guy senseless in the background. So there's that. What is that? Uh, what are we doing right now, do you think? What do you think our plan is right here? There's a corpse outline. That was removed in the English version, but that was in the Japanese version. There is a gallows in the center of Roadport. It's just a crusty place. It's a very crusty place. Oh, shit! Whoa! Reflecto over here. Alright, she's got reflector pads. It's kind of neat. Oh no. Oh no. Get her out of the cauldron. Yep. I think my shot actually ruined that. It's hard to say for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's a good spot for that item. When she's got a fucking cauldron over her stupid head, so you can just grab it. Hoi, oi, oi. Ah, yes, the beach bunny. There's no... There's no beaches. There's no oceans in Gensokyo. So drawing characters in swimsuits, is like, there's nowhere for them to do anything with it. And, to be honest with you, chat, I don't really care about swimsuits. Bikinis and whatnot. Bikinis are whatever. They don't they don't they don't really care about them. They're not that amazing. I like sundresses though. Those are nice. Alright. Hina win. Did that did that really just happen? 
Did that really just happen? How, how did Hina do that? How did, how did she even jump over that whole gap like that? Hoi, oi, oi. No characters wear suits either because there's no big business in Gensokyo. There's no reason to wear a suit. See, chat, when you go to the beach, who cares? The bikini is just underwear. You've seen underwear all your goddamn life. Who gives a shit? But special pieces of clothing. Great shot, Dylan. You take a nice, loose, white sundress, and you instantly gas up a character and make them look beautiful. Easy peasy. A bikini is cheap. All it does is make you go awooga, and it's like not even that like awooga after like the first five seconds. Cause it's like anytime you watch a beach episode, it's just like you know they're like sorry for the wait, and they run out of the changing room, and it's like camera pan, camera pan, camera pan, and then the guy character's like you 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 look you look really really good, ma'am, and then after that it's like it's literally never acknowledged again. It's just like, whatever, they're swimsuits. And it's like, yes, yes, we're moving on. Thank you for the raid, Christian. <clears throat> you fool. You absolute fool. You know not what you've done. There you go. It's true, though. It's true. They treat, they treat the swimsuits like a holy entity, and they acknowledge it for like a grand total of 10 seconds. And then, the, then the, the guy character's like, whatever, who cares anymore. But then you get some gratuitous shots of all, the, all the, the different folds and whatnot. That shot was so good, I cannot believe it. That shot was unbelievably incredible for no real reason, and I just lost for it. It's not fair. Oh. oh no, you didn't have to do that. You could have went under. I demonstrate it now, but I can't because the pillar fell in the way, but you can just go under it. Hmm. He didn't know. He lacked information. Hey now, I didn't say anything about swimwear. I said bikinis. I said bikinis. That's all I said. They're overdone. And now I don't care about them. That's why you gotta hit me with an oddball. Sundresses. Suits. And other things I won't admit. These are the ingredients to make the perfect perfect what the perfect coomer <laughs> no That's not what I said at all. Winter clothes. Chat, winter outfits or summer outfits? What's better? Very important question. You, you cannot... You cannot not answer. Oh! That's fine. Sometimes, man, this game is just designed around who knows what. The physics in this game make no goddamn sense. <laughs> A 
The title is just Hina's Mouth. What the fuck? <laughs> Hina, I can't see you in there! Get out of there, please! No, okay, so summer outfits chat. You know, that you got shorts, uh, bikinis, sundresses. What the hell just happened? You know, clothes like that. But winter outfits, you get coats, you get sweaters, you get accessories, like mittens, and scarves, earmuffs, and stockings, and boots. Like, there's all kinds of things. There's all kinds of things. What are you buzzing me for? The degree at which it is outside is hot. Good. Does Luddy wear any of those? I don't know, she might wear mittens. But she doesn't need to because she likes the cold. Pretty sure she could streak in the cold and she'd be fine. Oh, that ball placement of his is what gave me that win there. That's such a shame. Well, that's Hina, baby. When you can live in the cold, you don't need to wear heavy clothing. So you could- yeah. So, snow women could be streakers, for all you know. That could be something they can do. I'm just saying. That's all, I'm just saying. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Because this game is a joke. That was a very interesting way to solve that predicament, but it worked, so can't even be mad. I have nothing I want to share. I have nothing to share. I'm just saying that characters, characters who like the cold and have an actual, like, they don't get frostbitten, can in fact just be naked outside in the cold. That's just how it is. They're not, but you don't really see winter, like, S characters like that dressed super warmly. Because they don't want to be dressed super warmly. Why do you think you see snow women in like, like basically fucking like single just yukatas, right? They're just in, they they're, they have like a one piece robe as their outfit, and that's it. But if you were wearing that out in a fucking blizzard, you dead, 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 dead. If they can wear that, they can probably wear nothing. What do you think's more enticing to somebody lost in a blizzard, huh? I'm just saying, you gotta keep those stories family friendly, I guess. Even though they all end in tragedy and death. You know, I guess maybe a, a naked woman isn't as believable out there as one, you know, like a single piece of clothing. Oh, that's me in about five seconds if I continue this conversation. <laughs> Oh, but I hit her though. There she goes! The game has started pitying me and not taking away my points. Isn't that nice of it? Alright then, I guess I'll just win on my first turn again. I just lost like five in a row. Whoa, what the? Kaguya! Oh shit. 
That Kaguya is huge. There is a Bunny. <laughs> oh, that's the bottom. That's a neat stage. Mason was not there because she is a playable character. Points are in dire need of some assistance. Dire need. Hmm. Why did you put that Haniwa on Misty's back? Oh no, not the bubble again. Well, hot damn. If that isn't a perfect solution to problems like that. I'm glad every other new character can get the ability to get Hina like that, but Jun couldn't. They took that away from her. It was too overpowered. Now Nui can turn her completely invisible and tell you to go fuck yourself for the rest of the game. Where's the justice? Where's the justice? Okay, that shot almost didn't work either. That shot was like... So close to just flipping over the hole and then not going in. In the purple. Great spot for her. Jun sucks. Jun sucked at the beginning, and then they made her really good with one simple change. They made the gem activate on the turn you use it. Keep going, 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 keep going. You don't need skills to win. It's just some of them are very helpful. They took my skill. And she looks kind of upset. They took my goddamn best skill. And they turned it into, it only works on your turn if it's lower than he or equal to Hina. But that never fucking happens. Any situation where you can win with that item just doesn't, you can't, you can't actually win with it anymore. And yet, it's still somehow not as bad as it was in the, uh, the first release of the game. That's the most impressive part, is that it sucks that much, and it's still better than what it used to be. If you're gonna make Nue, like... Think about it, chat. Fucking Nue. You've seen what Nue's skill is. You can't honestly tell me that Nue's skill is reasonable compared to what I'm asking about the gem. Because Nui's skill is fucking idiotic. A full game invisibility. She jumped towards it. What is your game here? 
Seriously, I don't know what Iku does. I don't know what your plan is here at all. all right, there's a Raymond on that. What drama? There's an electric bowl on the other one. Slide, Hina! Slide! Slide! Well, that was my last turn anyway. Wow. Unfrozen Hina. That lightning bolt seemed like it was, did something, but in actuality, that was just all the hook. That was all the hook, baby. Good characters are locked behind. I don't know what they're locked behind. They aren't locked behind favoritism, that's for sure. Now here's the problem with the situation that I have uh, found myself in. I I can't believe that worked. I'll be real with you. I I felt like that was just not gonna work. I could have thrown the ball, and I know what would have happened if I threw the ball at her. She would have flew over the fucking hole. She kind of slid for a while, yeah. It might have been because of the coin. I actually don't know how the coin affects that. I know the coin affects her weight for the next shot, but... I didn't know- I don't know if it actually makes her slide longer. in the head. Right in the dome. Alright, goodbye, snowman. Oh my... God damn it, man. Sometimes I hate the coin. Alright, your lightning strike bailed me out. Just take a picture of old Hina. If we're using a character with good abilities, might as well get the meter for it. Oh. Chai, remember that video we watched on uh, on the Sunday with the, the tall memes? About, like, the idol business. I remember that one. Sort of. Not perfectly. Oh. You know what? I'll give you that. That was a pretty brilliant decision there. But it didn't work, which means now I'm just going to steal the win. I almost didn't win there. 
Admittedly, I didn't deserve it, but I'm gonna take it and walk away now. I don't have any plans for a Sunday stream, though, because I've been too busy to do anything. I was interested in Memories of Phantasm. I think it's ending after the next episode. But not interested enough to really put time aside for it. More so just like a thing that I can do if I have time. But I tend to use my Sundays for many things. Hello, my opponents, where are you? We have to play. You're holding a bracket. You know, there's a, there's a way to win this in one move, I promise you. You just gotta do it right. That wasn't what I thought it would be, but... There was indeed a way to win that in one move. People aren't using that Iku skin. Why would they? <laughs> why, why would they, man? Why would they? such creature. Why did that tree just do a flip, dog? Hey, thanks! <laughs> that rainbow had my back. Gave me a win and everything. Chat was 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 Dev paid to make that skin or he, did he make it himself? Because he made one for Nitori as well. You don't see that one very often. But I can't help but feel like somebody paid him for the other one. Well, Hina. Put up your reflector bubble here. I don't know what just happened. It was requested. That. God damn, man. <laughs> God damn. You motherfuckers be talking about feet when shit like that is allowed to roam free? <laughs> Unbelievable. Y'all mad tripping. Damn! Superstar slugger over here. Oh my god. Her goddamn solid ribbon hit the corner and just delayed all the momentum. <laughs> oh my god. What would I request if I could? can't tell you that. Because I don't know. Hey, 
It would probably be Jum related. But I don't know. Go, Hina, go, Hina, go, Hina, go. I'm using my ideal Jun, that's correct. Everybody, everybody uses this goddamn cake skin, and every time it pops up, it puts the sparkle effect on the cake gets lodged in Jun's eye, so she's got sparkly eye. She tumbled backwards. There's Jun right there. I am the creature. Chad, do you think this Fumo is like a suit that she's wearing? Or do you think she just like turned into it and it's still like her talking? What are the logistics of this outfit? What if it's like Miko Rabbit? Or it's just a costume that she's wearing? Are we having a good time yet? Slowly getting her out of her cauldron. Oh, I fucked that throw up. Well, that was certainly a game. Bad idea, I just fucked the throw up. See, look, the sparkle goes right in her eye. You see that? <laughs> it's just sitting in my eye. <coughs> She's dazzling. Good game. <laughs> It's like you play a one stock match with a hero player and they just right at go they just pull up the menu smack kamikaze get up and just shake your hand good game like you just you just sat down you put your controls up you pick your stage and then as soon as the game starts it's just instant kamikaze good game he gets up he's out <laughs> he gets up and he's out That's such a good image in my head, I gotta tell you that. <laughs> That's such a good image in my head. <laughs> well, that's game, baby. We all live in a pile of shit. 80 points subtracted from my grand score. Or 
Goal. Sometimes Hina bounces when she hits objects, and other times she hits it with like such an impact that she just falls over. Yeah, I knew that wasn't gonna work because of the size difference. Yeah, some of the stages have been around for so long that they're very one-dimensional in how they work. And that pirate ship one is a big one, I think. Dude, that head better roll and knock her over. Okay, cool. There, there are a couple stages that are very... Yeah, they're very, like... They're kind of decided just based on, like, the first play kind of deal. Well, speak of the devil. Like, you hit her once, she falls over in the middle, and somebody has to... Uh-oh. See, here's the problem, because even when this situation happens, it's still a loss. Like, I just lost. Well. Never mind. I won. I don't think that stage is very good. Unless you like purposely sabotage it, that stage usually ends really fast. Hmm. Yeah, you can hit Hina there, I know that. It's just every time that's happened on stream so far, I've been the one to hit her there. And nobody else knows that you can do that. I was gonna say, this is another one that you can, uh, win from this position very easily, but I've seemed to have completely plugged the hole with that tree, and now we're both fucked. talking to Ferdy uh, earlier and he was talking about how you kind of when you formulate an art style it's kind of just like it's a very uh, how you'd say like internal thing like it's like when you when you do things a lot of it is based on you know your own thoughts and whatnot so it's kind of like when you apply them to canvas it kind of just slips in unconsciously so you don't really see your own art style because of that because everything you do is just kind of feels right for you right but then you know you know and, and you look at like uh this guy like Misa Sova's art and you can definitely see like you look at this character it's fine it's fine and then you get down to below the waist and you're like oh you're like oh and you know what I bet his mind that's just natural to him you know that's just perfectly natural to him. That's what he wants to draw. That's what he draws. Doesn't even think twice about it. Whenever he draws any single character's shape, they always end up- he always makes that big outward curve when he gets to that point. Every fucking time. And to him, it's just second nature. What? Oh, okay. Tiny Hina. That's why art styles are so unique, yeah. 
There's a lot of different things that culminate into an art style. And some of them are things you don't even think about because they're not really things that you would ever think about. Which makes me wonder why some people's art styles are the way they are. <laughs> what happened to you? What happened to you to get like this? All oh, right, Remy's attic. Look how small her legs are. Chat, her, her four, her four legs just stop. They just stop. Is that a pair of scissors in her parfait? No, she's gone. It's just, this isn't gonna work. I don't know what this is gonna do, actually. Oh my god, that's what it's gonna do. Cringe. Hmm. Oh. 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 Chocolate cookie sticks. That makes more sense, yes. Then a pair of scissors. You know, chat, there's definitely something that I've learned while working on the face for, uh, like, when I do the face. I've learned something very important. Noses just aren't cute. They're so fucking hard to do. Wow, look at this Hina shit. It is so easy to make a nose that just looks like trash. So, you just don't, you either just don't or your nose is like a fucking line. That was kind of a wild course of events. Look at the noses here. Oh, well, this is a terrible example. There are no noses here. No noses. But when you look at, like, if you look at art and you look at the noses, you'll see a couple different tricks for them. Like, it's just like a skin tone change to indicate it's there. An incredibly fine, uh, like, thin line indicating the nose. You really don't see, like, detailed noses in anime art style. Let's see if another one can pop up. Okay, look at the nose here. Pay attention to the nose, chat. You see how it's just like a line on the spot that the nose would be? And like, it works, right? You can tell that's a nose based on that little line, and it's fine. You don't do anything more than that. But if you try to do more than that, holy shit, does the whole- the whole fucking thing falls apart. The nose is in the center of your face, so yes, there is a guideline that you can use for it. But you don't have to do noses. But there's a few different ways or like tricks you can do them. But I'm not really messing with them because, again, like, they're so easy to make look super obtrusive and ugly. So they're just not really worth it. But then some people, some people draw, like, realistic noses. And that's just like, what is... Okay. Oh, well that's neat. They draw the big ass nose and they put way too much red blush on it. And it's like... Boy. Boy. In you go. Fumos have no noses because they wouldn't really work. There's another one, another good example. Look at the nose, chat. Look at the nose. Itty bitty little line. I'm 
looking at the hair as well. It has three splits in the center bang. Yep, center bang, and then one split, two split, yep, and then one split, three split, cool. And that's basically two additional bangs. Sorry, I'm just like studying. I'm just studying. <clears throat> yeah, you're mostly gonna see a line. You're gonna see a line. So here's a here's a good example. Look at this one, chat. You see how there's like a shadow effect uh, behind the line because of the way the head tilts. So the the difference in like the skin tone there with the shade is indicating the nose is there. When you kind of look at it for too long, it starts to get weird. It starts to get kind of weird when you look at it for too long, but that's that's a very like uh, you put the little line and just some shading on an angle, and congratulations, you now have a nose, and it looks perfectly fine. Oh, Hina, you did not just do that to me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Thanks, Hina. I stopped looking because I thought I lost. Just playing a game. Ears are another interesting one because there's things you can do for ears, but I feel like a lot of people hide them behind hair anyway. And it's a lot easier to hide them behind girls' hairs because girls tend to have longer hair anyway. Sometimes you can't hide them though. But then you have to draw an animal girl, and you have to draw the animal ears, and it's like, ah. For me, my, uh, for me, my ears are basically just on, like, the guideline on the side of the head for a decent size, like, because it may or may not be covered, so I'd rather have, you know, gotta make sure. Because you can kind of see it poking out as well sometimes, depending on how much hair you use. So it's good to have it as the initial, like, on the initial draft, so you don't have to figure out where the fuck it's supposed to go afterwards. <laughs> she didn't go high enough. Squidward noses. Well, that's that's just called art, my guy. That's just art. <laughs> I got the nose wrong. I have to fight eyes a lot, that's for sure. Eyes just never look good until they're done, which is so annoying because it's hard to continue when you're looking at them and it's just like this looks just doesn't look good. You gotta, like, finish them to be sure they're okay. It's really annoying. Zonhal so Charles rubber joints. <laughs> His, uh... He don't really- he doesn't really have knees and elbows. <laughs> Simple eyes are fine, and you can have closed eyes expressions as well, but I like, uh, I like having eyes. I think they're a huge impact on the image, so I like having them, even though they're a pain in the ass. Look at that bounce. What? interesting one for the mouse because it's also just a line. 
Getting the face position right is also a pain in the ass. Because if you got the eyes wrong, you gotta move them in the right position. But then if you do that, then you gotta move the mouth as well. Like, you can't move one... Okay, that's great. You can't really move one without the other one just kind of like falling out of place. Not to mention the eyes have to be symmetrical. And getting them symmetrical is a huge pain in the ass. My points. Because you gotta get the whole eye and the eyebrow, it's all gonna be symmetrical. It's just... It's just you can't... you can't get it perfect. You just can't. No matter how hard you fucking try, you just can't get it perfect. But it's so annoying when I sit there and look at it, and it's like, that's not even. Then I lasso tool it, I grab the fucker, and I'm like... Wait, that doesn't, it still doesn't look right. I hate that shit. Hmm. You know, Hina was having a great time until you showed up. Now she's encased in a block of ice. They even froze the snowball. That... surely that counts. Good. Oh, that's that's fucking brilliant, man. That's just brilliant. <laughs> Are you sick? <clears throat> that doesn't even make any sense, man. That doesn't even make any sense. There's, there's no way that that was your win. I literally won there and the game was like, no, it's your opponent's turn. And then, then the rest of my turn went through on your turn. Unfucking believable I'm, I can't believe that, man. Some of the, just some of the best Hina you've ever seen. Well... I thought I had a good shot there. You didn't earn those points you got from me. You didn't earn them. They're mine. I deserve them. Goodbye, Ruma. She's gone! Fell in the barrel. I like that Komachi's blush, because it looks like mini hot dogs. It looks like mini hot dogs. The cheeks are fun. Although, chat, I learned it's really easy to make that really deep red blush on a character's face. You know, the one that has implications. When I was first learning that, 
Freddy was like, you know, take the airbrush and give it like a spritz and it's like, oh, okay. So I took the whole airbrush and I just brushed it across the front of her face and I was like, oh. <laughs> it got, it got steamy right then and there. I was like, I didn't think it would be that easy. It's not my fault. I didn't want it to look like that. It's just I was like, what if I did this? Is Hina really stuck? How the fuck did you do that? I've never in my life seen Hina get stuck on the conveyor belt. I didn't even know that was possible. How did I win from that position? What? <laughs> Alright. That's kind of whack. So look at this, look at this, uh, look at this Komachi. It's got little hot dog cheeks. It's got another trick on its mouth there, if you can see it. Where you kind of like, uh, you erase the bottom part of the mouth, because it's like the lips, I guess. And somehow it looks good. I can't really explain why it looks good, but it does. <clears throat> She's got square pupils as well. Or not people, yeah. They're squares. Kinda neat. There's a lot of ways you can do things. But no matter which way you choose to do them, it's still difficult. But I guess the goal is to find the way that you, uh, you find the easiest. And that's how things are formed. That's when the magic happens. Well, you want me to show you, Chad? I can just show you exactly what I mean. Like, I can just pull it out right now and show you what I mean. It's not my fault, it's just how it happens. capture. Alright, you see it, chat? Alright, so this is what I mean. I don't have my tablet set up, so I gotta use mouse, so... so the blush is the little airbrush. Oh, it's huge. Oh. Uh-oh. Get that out of there. Okay, uh, I gotta shrink the size. Okay, so you see, when I get close to the cheek, you can see a little bit of a tint, right? A little bit of a tinty. I'm on the wrong thing still. Uh, soft, that's why. Okay. Oh, it's massive. Oh. <laughs> okay. 80. So, you know, you kind of do it like less than that. I don't have pressure sensitivity on my mouse. But, you know, you kind of give it a little dab and it's like, okay. But then I did it like this. And I was like, oh. So that's... That's what I mean. That's what I mean. When you when you run it across their face like that, it's like, oh shit. It gets a little... I guess it depends on the expression, but it gets a little like, uh-oh. It's hard to kind of make that soft enough so it's like, just, you know... I want to be able to make it soft enough so I can do, like, blush like that, but not so much that it's like... 
you know, dirty. You know what I mean? I don't want it to be dirty. <laughs> okay. Alright, back to it. I don't know, I don't know how to get it, uh, I don't quite know how to do it, as well. Because I'm sure that style works perfectly fine, but I can't help but look at my image and think like, Uh oh, she horny. So there's gotta be like ways to make it less horny, I suppose. Because I wanna, I want to incorporate blush like that. Because I wanna draw, I wanna draw embarrassing shit. I do. I need to be able to do that. What are we doing? What is the game plan? Well, I got her down. It looked especially bad on Lily. Lily's expression was fine, and then when I put the blush there, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> it got, it got kind of bad for her. Now you think I've lost this, but you'll see. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, I used the wrong shade of white. It seemed fine in the moment, but after it was all done, I was like, wait a minute, this white is too dim? It's basically gray, so I made Lily gray by accident. My bad. Happens to the best of us. Coloring is not easy, chat. Coloring is fucking hard. There's so many things. There's so many things you have to keep in mind for it. And sometimes the color you use for shading it's just not a color that you think will look good until it's done and you're like, oh yeah, it looks fine. Like... Chat, if you color pick my Rumia... If you color pick my Rumia, and you color pick the shaded part, you'll get like a brown. Like, straight up. If I paint it over her head with that color, she turned to a brunette. But for some reason, it looks perfectly fine on the final image with all- like, it looks as the- the shade effect. But if I color the whole thing, it would be- she'd be a brunette. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. I don't understand it at all. Same with like the skin tone. Oh wow, I haven't seen a flower in a long ass time. Same with skin tone as well when you draw the shading on the skin tone. It's quite dark. It like doesn't even look like a proper skin color, but then it works well in the grand scheme of it. Skin tone in general is hard to do, because there's only a few, like, skin tones you can do before you create an alien. And there's a really fine line that you- you can walk with, uh, with some of the- some of the tones. I fucking knew that was gonna happen as soon as I clicked it. Yeah, color theory, man. Color theory. It's crazy. It's like the green text. It's like the green text with the snowman. Keiki, no! Put it on its nose! Why did the platform just turn green? What is even happening? Oh, it took a picture, that's why it's green. <laughs> why, why did it do that? <laughs> why, why did that just explode up there? 
Kagi be doing shit, man. She just be doing shit. Oh, wait, it was the bouncy thing. That's what it was. That's what exploded up there. Oh my god, back up, Jack. All right, Hina. Fly! It's not what I requested. I'm... I'm impressed that that worked. Because normally in that situation, it doesn't. Or at the very least, the last time I played on that stage, it didn't. You know what I like about this art chat? It's got the flesh fang. And you see how it also has the... It, it doesn't have the bottom of the mouth line arted? I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe you can. Isn't it kind of, It's kind of weird how you can remove the bottom line of the mouth and have it look like better. But also this one's got a flesh fang, which I like. I like the flesh fang a lot. <laughs> I like that one. All you gotta do is draw like the sharp fang and then you just kind of erase the line separating the mouth from the teeth. And there you go. Harder than it sounds though. I, I'll tell you that. Harder than it sounds. Oh, that shit just crushed. Clobbered. The bends of the eyes on the top and the bottom are also important for expression too. Eyebrows as well, mouth expression, everything goes into making the expression. For some reason, every single one of my images can have the eyebrows go like a U and have it look like perfectly fine. It's kind of funny to me actually. They all look very smug just by default, by accident. But I think it's just because my expressions are extremely neutral because I only really do like a smile. And then my eyes don't really have... My eyes don't really have anything specific to them, I suppose. Like, my eyes are just kind of like eyes. I'm not like aiming for a specific expression with them. I'm just trying to draw eyes. And as a result, I just kind of get normal eyes. I don't really mind that. I think it looks fine. Chirinos was a bit slanted. Because she had the, uh, you know, she had the grin. But I think that was more of a happy accent than anything. <laughs> oh, that's the right Hina. Yep. That's the right Hina. You know what's funny? Uh, for the hair shading. Hair shading is neat. You kind of see it. It's not very uh, prominent in this one, but there's definitely some strokes. This is like a side profile. It's just so much hair on the side. But Ferdy told me to imagine all the bangs like slugs. So I imagine every bang is a slug, and then I I shade it based on the bottom of the slug and the back of the slug. Well, that was wild. This isn't gonna work. I wanted to believe it would work, but it wasn't gonna work. So like, let's say the light is coming from, the light source is coming from the right side of the head. It means that all of the, uh, all the slugs are, you know, you want, you want to imagine all the slugs have the sun hitting their head, right? So that means the shading would all be on the left side of the bangs. Same deal with the uh, underside of the bangs as well, attached to the skin. The shadow would be on the left side if the light source is from the right, and then, you know, reverse it, and it would be on the right side if the light source is on the left. Also, the light source is indicated by the shine in the eyes as well. Holy flips! Whack. Times five. Good stuff. 
Shady's still tricky. I didn't even think about the eye shine. So when you put the little white, like the, the whites in the eyes to like have the shine, that's actually like, that kind of indicates where the light source is as well, based on where it is. The left side of the eye or the right side of the eye. It's neat. Lighting is cool, but also hard to really, like, remember all in the moment. The Amogus strategy for the eyes is legit. It's actually legit. People just aren't ready to accept it because it's amogus -y. But it's, it's a legit eye. It's, like, legit. I promise you. If you do it yourself, you'll see what I mean. It sounds really silly, I know, but, like, it's pretty good. Mizusova has a lot of detail in his eyes. He's got, like, three individual shines, and he's got a pupil in the center. That's a big eye. Also, eye whites are kind of interesting as well. Because I guess you're supposed to kind of have a ratio of 50-50 with pupil to eye whites. But there's not really line art to guide the, the uh, there's not really eye line art to guide the whites, except for the top of the eye and the side, of, a little bit of the side of the eye. You kind of just have to gauge the shape of it and fill it in. And then when you have the empty, when you have the empty eye, then you put the pupil inside of it and you try to match the size to what you created. And voila, you have an eyeball. It's kind of hard. It's really hard for me to gauge that. Also, when a character is looking from the side, the eye of the side that is, like, farther from the camera has to be smaller, or squished more, because, you know, they're not looking straight ahead. So that's also something you gotta keep in mind as well. There's just so many fucking things you gotta keep in mind when you're doing this. <laughs> and it's, it's so much to remember. <laughs> There's a rule for everything. And it's so easy to mess up the... Mess it up. Foreshortening is something that I've done once for Lily. Because I had to draw the ribbon on her hat, but her the ribbon on her hat was sideways. The ribbon on her hat is like facing outwards sideways. So I had to somehow draw that from a front facing perspective. So I basically had to draw the ribbon like super scrunched. And it felt very strange to do. Whoa, that was weird. Go, Hina, go! Wow. Hina's bouncing. Two thousand. I want my money back. Pretty good, though. Mouths are pretty difficult, too. Mouths feel like they're not that hard. Because sometimes they're just lines. And if you want to open them, it's just like a D. You know, drawing a D isn't that complicated. It's a straight line and a C. But yet, somehow, somehow, some way, there is no actual thing in the entirety of, the, of art that is easy. That said, chat, apparently I'm, I'm really good at doing horizontal lines. Like, I can't do vertical lines very consistently, like straight lines, but I'm really good at horizontal straight lines, and I was even from like the first day I picked up my tablet. That's just something I can do. But like, so what that means is sometimes when I'm having trouble doing like a vertical line, I'll rotate my canvas sideways and then do a horizontal line. And then when I put the rotation back to normal, it's now a vertical line, which is kind of, kind of genius if you ask me. Well, I think that's kind of genius. I do that for line outing as well. I rotate and zoom in a lot to get lines, uh, lines in better ways. Because I'm left-handed, I have an easier time drawing my uh, certain lines from different directions. The only thing is sometimes I zoom in so close when I flip the canvas, I can't remember what the actual, uh, the right, oh jeez. I can't remember what the intended, uh, rotate, uh, flip actually is anymore. 
Well, this has certainly been a game, hasn't it? Oh my god. lower the image quality well I have I have clip studio paint I bought that for 20 bucks but even in Krita I use it doesn't do that I know what you mean though in GIMP when you rotate an image if it's not a proper degree angle it blurs the fuck out of it but it doesn't do that in the art programs at all the image has not changed in the slightest. Also, my canvas size is fucking massive, so there's that as well. Maybe that uh, how, does something to it, I don't know. You slide, Hina, slide! I have a bunch of shortcuts mapped to my numpad since I'm left-handed. But yeah, there's a lot of tricks you can do for sure. With rotation. Rotation and panning and uh, and zooming and whatnot. Because the thing is, I'm not like finishing the angle like that. I'm just changing it in the moment so I can adjust it, then put it back upright. Good. Krita is a good free art program that has some things that actually Clip Studio Paint doesn't, which it really should. But Clip Studio Paint also has a lot of cool stuff, and it was 20 bucks, so I figured I'd buy it. <laughs> Look at that wide stretched crack block. This is it, don't get scared now. Yeah, I think of uh, GIMP and Photoshop as more image editing softwares. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can still do stuff in GIMP with like, you know, art related, but it's also missing stuff. Krita had a lot of cool stuff and Krita was a free, uh, it was a free program. The first two images I drew were in Krita. Like the Rumia and the Chirno, and those were both done in Krita. And then I bought CSP, and that's where I did Rumia and, uh... Or Lily and the other Rumia. There's a few, though. There's a few, but Krita worked well for me. Back up to my thing. Some drawing tablets come with a code for their own softwares. Which is like, I don't, I think those are pretty varying degrees of uh, quality. <laughs> AKA probably not that great. Tablets though aren't very cheap. I don't even know what the cheapest tablet you can really get is, but the, the, my tablet was 150 bucks. Is a medium-sized Wacom tablet. I rather like it. It's a good size. I didn't want something too small, but I didn't want something huge either. I was like, I'll, I'll fucking bite it for 150. I'll bite it. Oh well, this is an interesting situation. A screen? I don't think so. No. A lot of marks on the, uh, the right side of it, though. That's for sure. It took me quite a while to figure out how, like, where on my tablet, where on my tablet was relative to my, um, what do you call it, to my display. Because the tablet actually takes my, both my monitors into account, 
And my monitors are fucking huge. Like, width-wise, my monitors are huge compared to the size of the tablet. Yeah, my tablet is able to cross, you know, cover the whole thing in its width. So getting used to that was weird, but I have gotten used to it. Hold on, this might be it. Cringe. Cringe. I don't need to change the settings. My left hand rests on the left side of the thing and I draw exclusively on the right side of it. There are so many scratch marks on the right side of it and the left side is pristine. I draw on my second monitor is the thing. I find it's easier. At first I was drawing on my, my bigger monitor, my left side, but then I switched it. It's very different. Like, I, when I stream, I have the capture on the right monitor, and I have everything else on the left monitor. And when I watch streams as well, I have everything. Like, the right monitor is my throwaway monitor, and my, and, or my right monitor is my throwaway monitor, and my left monitor is where I do stuff on it. But when I'm doing, when I, when I do art, I actually flip that around. It's the only time I ever flip it around. So all the activity is on my smaller monitor, and then the whatever is on my left monitor. Just because it works better for my hand orientation. I don't know what an open tablet driver is. I just have whatever the Wacom had. Setting that shit up wasn't very fun. Not like I understood what was happening. Pretty helped me with that too. Alright chat, let's do 10 more. 10 more and then we're going to the store. Here we go, final 10. Start counting. It's about to go nuts. Number one. Get out of here, fake Hina. Hmm. I got to play the Aante map once. Uh, I don't think that Hina should be on- Oh, well, goodbye, Hina. Hina just fucking jumped ship. Wanted nothing to do with that. Alright, number two. Zeh. I'm fine with what I got. I like what I have set up. No. Oh, go. Go the other way. Unbelievable. No, my rank again. Number three. Let's go this way this time. Visit Kaguya. Oh, we've already been here! Take a hike! Well, maybe pick up drawing practice? The desire to draw cute girls. And instead of trying to find somebody else to do it, or thinking about how I can't do it. I decided to try and do it. And I bought a tablet. And now we're here. I wanted to do it, and instead of telling myself I can't do it, I actually fucking tried to do it. And here I am, currently suffering. Suffering and struggling in constant pain. But to live is to suffer. So you might as well enjoy it while you're at it. When 
you need when you want things done sometimes you gotta do it yourself you want a nice body you want to have muscles well you're not just gonna do, you can't just sit on your ass and expect yourself to get gains you gotta get out there and do it yourself the only person who can get you big muscles is you you can't pay somebody to give you big muscles you gotta put the work in and once you start doing that, you find out that, hey, you can put the work in in places. And you can put the work in in other places. Areas of interest. Things you want to do. Give them a shot. Oh. That heart is going to fuck everything up. that shit out of here. Well, I think this is number four. <laughs> Great. Good one. took a picture of, but, uh, well. Alright. Here, have your camera back. Alright, win with that. Do it. Oh yeah, that was the last hit. Okay. Number six. I have to pee. I'm taking big, big, big shots. Kaboom, kaboom. Is there a way to win from this position? The answer is no. Well. I lied. All right. That's game six. Game seven. Game seven. I said game seven. Thankfully, no. But we're gonna see it in the shop anyway, so don't you worry. I'm a winner. Number eight. Number eight, number eight, number eight. I don't want to see that shit. Get that off my screen. Get it out of here. Wow. Number eight. Oh yeah. It's launch time. Didn't launch her at all. Drop from higher up. This is bullshit. Well, 
Why did you set Hina on fire? Why would you do that? Well. Now what? Oh, that's what. All I got for that was 350 points and I lost my rank? Two more. Did somebody request this? It wasn't me, that's for sure. I'd be the first guy on the fucking list to do it. But it wasn't me, I promise. Well, wow, that was kind of insane. I'm back in the ring. Last game, last game, last game, last game, last game, last game. This is it, the final battle. Wow, that's a good start. Hmm. Do a flip. That that didn't work the way I thought it was at all. Oh, I clearly thought she'd hit that with enough force. really slid up the fucking like board she slid up it that doesn't even make any sense great game great game all right take me to the shop I'm gonna buy some costumes all right we got smile we got panic crying we got cake obviously we got cake We have stun, troubled, anger, and then calorie. Yep. It's got no legs, by the way. Somebody requested this. Somebody requested this. Yep. All right, legendary box time. Open the box. We in there, boys. We in there. <laughs> have that one, have that one, have that one, have that one. I have the idol outfit. Yeah, I got Iku's only outfit. There you go. Alright, chat. This has been another eventful day. Level 31 Jun. Hina Copter. Okay. Oh. Oh, some good Hina gameplay. Some terrible Hina gameplay. But yeah, we get to see the new characters for the most part. They're kind of confusing. Or at least they're not as clear cut as other characters of what they do. But Keiki's got some cool reflective stuff. Uh, the lightning strike is interesting. The raiment is kind of cool. I don't really know what else Keiki does, but that bouncy thing was funny. And the camera is neat. 
But yeah, that's about it. I got to see, uh... I got to see that Ante stage as well, so, um... I got to see a lot. So, that's all for Hina, though. Goodbye, Hina. There will be more of you in the future, for sure. I don't know when the next update's gonna drop, mind you, but, you know. No one, no one says I can't just drop in Hina every now and again. Play it, check it out.